video we are going to see about the capacitance connections so first one is series combination of capacitor another one is parallel combination of capacitance so series combinations are so this is the capacitor c1 this is c2 this is c3 so now this is the applied voltage so we know if series combination current is same so this current is i so therefore so we know capacitance c equal to q by v so therefore current is same means the charge across the capacitor also same therefore but the voltage across capacitors are different so this we can v1 this we can say v2 this we can say v3 so plus minus plus minus plus minus accordingly this will charge the voltage across this capacitor is v, v1 the voltage across this capacitor is v2 the voltage across this capacitor is v3 so this is the applied voltage c equal to q by v we know q is charge v equal to voltage so according to this so now so now voltage across capacitor 1 is v1 equal to q charge is same divided by c1 the voltage across the capacitor v2 equal to charge q divided by c2 voltage across the capacitor v3 equal to charge q divided by c3 so we know v equal to v1 plus v2 plus v3 because this is the applied voltage between this point and this point therefore applied voltage v equal to voltage across these two points we can say here it is split into three voltage v1 v2 v3 so therefore v equal to v1 v2 v1 plus v2 plus v3 so now we have to substitute q by c1 q by c2 plus q by c3 v so now v equal to q is common so we can take outside so inside will be 1 plus c1 1 by c2 plus 1 by c3 so we we can say v equal to q into c equivalent here c equivalent equal to 1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 plus 1 by c3 so suppose if it have if it have more number of it means n number of capacitance means 1 plus c1 1 plus c2 it will continue up to 1 by c n so next one is parallel connections so this is c1 this is c2 this is c3 so we know according to the parallel concept the current flow here is i but when it is splitting here i1 i2 here i3 so now charge here is q1 so we can say it is q3 q2 q1 so now so we know c equal to q by v so here q1 q1 equal to c1 into so we see here voltage in a parallel circuit voltage is same so here v means potential between this point also v potential different this point is v here also v so the voltage across all the capacitor is same therefore q1 equal to c1 into v q2 equal to c2 into v q3 equal to c3 into v therefore q equal to q1 plus q2 plus q3 in this circuit so now q equal to so q1 equal to c1 v1 plus c2 v2 plus c3 c1 v c2 v c3 v so here v is common so we can take outside so inside will be c1 plus c2 plus c3 so we can say q equal to v into c equivalent so here c equivalent is c1 plus c2 plus c3 suppose if the circuit consists of n number of capacitance means c equivalent equal to c1 plus c2 then up to cn so according to this concept if capacitance are connected in series so we uh, to get the equivalent capacitance value we have to add it reciprocal value so if capacitance are parallel so we have to add the capacitance value to get the equivalent capacitance so that's all about the capacitance connections